Oh, you're just gonna ignore me? No. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> you talk like it, I guess it is. It. Don't ever disrespect <laughs> me like this. That Welcome right? back to my channel. Welcome back. I don't think anybody went anywhere. Alright, continue. I'm sorry. I'll shut up and be there. Welcome back, guys. And today, we're going to be talking about a good story time that I just had. I'm a smiling because I was in pain. Me, Daily? What? You're smiling because you're in pain? Or are you were in pain? <laughs> I just want to make sure. You're currently I'm still in pain. You're currently in pain? So, in Seattle, it snowed. And. I was trying to make it home out of the job that I've worked and y'all have seen the video now about the job I've worked. I was trying to get home. This oh, night was yeah. unusually amount of people I know that I like to be around and I like to talk to. So everybody was talking to me at the end. I was like, okay, that's cool. I was going to a new ship, so I was probably not gonna see them as much anymore. And um, we got out late. My coworker, who is just, just the nicest, sweetest girl, but her mom cannot come pick her up. So, you know, being the good co-worker I thought I was being, I waited. I waited to see if her mom would pick her up. 15 minutes go by, more snow. You know, just enough for me to be concerned. 30 minutes go by. The parking lot is white. <laughs> I mean, it's a black parking lot, but it's white now. Now I'm like, all right. So right, man. It's 30 minutes. Mm. They ain't gonna pay me for this now. Mm. It's cold. I would like to go home. I live a 10 minute walk away from this job. I've waited 30 minutes. I could have walked to the house, got me a snap, walked back, and still walked home. But I waited another 15 minutes before her mom literally said, I give up. I'm not coming to get you. <laughs> Child neglect. The reason why I have trust issues. So you're not you're not coming to get her. Me. So you just stop trying. <laughs> Me and they call this love. I saw the frustration in her her face. She said, "So that's it. That's that. What are we gonna do?" They're calling Lyfts, they're calling Ubers, they're calling cabs. I ain't ever called a cab or a taxi in my life. Oh, me. But I figured, I called three numbers. They said, not today. All of them, Hajib and the rest. He said, one for the snow, <laughs> no, no, thanks. No, they was not, not for the extra coin, not for the dollar. And I read online, there will be people in the snow trying to make an extra dollar. Nobody was here that day. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wanted this extra coin. It was only 11 o'clock. That was, wasn't even a bad time. <clears throat> All you had to do was go up the hill in a little bit. It was a 15 minute drive at most. I would have been beeping because you'd be like, look, you could have told me this earlier. Maybe I would have had a ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So. Nothing's working. At this point, it's 11.30. No one is coming. She is stuck here. I call my boss, I call everybody. They say, stay there. In the gym. Protein drinks is our food. Water and Gatorade. Now mind you, I had taken a whole dang edible. So, stuff was really starting to hit me now. And I was just like, um, so what are we gonna do? Mind you, out of nowhere, I get a phone call from another coworker who asked me about the schedule. And I said, all right, I, I know the schedule, send it to them, but send it to them. And they were like, Yada yada yada. I think this coworker is cute. Here's a little coworker drama for you. I had the smart idea. <laughs> I had the smart idea of, oh, if you would like to make a first a good first impression, you got a car. You want to come pick her up and take her home? Then we can all go home. He says, all right, you know, I'm on the way. So we wait. Me and my coworker wait, and we don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> 
So, you know, it's snowing. The sidewalk has disappeared. The curb and the snow have matched the same inch. It's a blizzard. As far as I know, I'm from California. It is a snowstorm out there. And I don't even know what's going on. But we call them back an hour later, right? Because we're, we're still trying to figure out rides for everyone to get home. The goal is not to stay in this place. It was never, the whole entire story, please remember, the goal for me was not to stay there. It was to go home. But to know that everyone was safe when I went home. Just trying to be good friend. But we call. They answered the phone, and all I hear is shh, shh, wind in the background. And I go, where are you? I'm walking. I'm walking? <laughs> walking where? To your car? No, I'm halfway to you guys. Where this person lives? In the gym. Approximately 3.5 to 4 miles away in the middle of a blizzard to come save the person to come save the co-worker that was stranded you walk <laughs> and I said one point for coming you you gonna make this trip negative one for not bringing a car Always. now I'm responsible for two lives the dedication this man had to just Wow, profess his love. And then there was a party of three. And as we tried to figure out all night who was going where, I was getting deeper in this hole. Deeper and deeper. Me calling every 30 minutes. Hey, bro, so if you just don't want to <laughs> come home. Mind you, my family okay. members are trading turns. It's okay. Asking if you just me. Don't want to come home. Telling me. Just you don't want to come home? Do you have a crush on this person? Oh no, I never said that. That was my dad. Um, it's not your responsibility to leave them? Me thinking, if yeah, this was cold. Kim, if that's this was Kim, money. why didn't you stay? Why didn't you stay with my daughter? Like, you yeah. and a stranger. I mean, I'd be like, bro, you just gonna leave me stranded, alright? Cool. <laughs> 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 Press this, you still need all And I was just like, no, that's wrong. That's, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna leave any one of my friends stranded. Nobody said this when they left me at church and I was like, this is sick, but anyway. She still hurt. <laughs> you <don't> really <laughs> left me. She still hurt. All y'all were in the car, buckle This is not your story. I'm sorry. I ought to fix my life. <laughs> Continue. Anyways trying to figure out ways to get home. Then they started getting restless. They was like, low key started having fun. Say, can we order DoorDash, Uber Eats, Mealy Anthem? If we can order that, we can order a lift to go home. We can go home. This ain't for fun. <laughs> Do you think this is a joke? Are you taking me out of the joke? You think I want to be here? Yeah. I I told y'all three hours ago, my plan was to take a hot shower and to get in my bed and go to sleep. And know that when I wake up tomorrow, I ain't gotta be no. Instead, I ain't going to sleep. My my Friday shift that was already eight hours has turned into 16 hours. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the roller coaster outside was <laughs> Where was I in the story? Do y'all think this is a joke? I don't oh, know. Yeah. Door dash. Me. <laughs> dash of the door. People started having talks. And like it was all poops and giggles until people really got tired and they wanted to go home. Everybody got to that point where they was like, I have no brain power and no brain energy. All I could do was laugh. I could all I could do was just laugh. In the face of adversity, I laugh. To make the whole story real quick. Can nobody come to the rescue? The same one <laughs> story when somebody came to the rescue. <laughs> We stayed up till 6 a.m. till the roads melted. Somebody came by and swooped them up and dipped. Me, it was that easy? Gone. It was that Didn't easy. even say bye. Not a trace. Hello? <laughs> hey, can you give me a ride? <laughs> Love, old oh boy, there. <laughs> <laughs> left me, left, left me and the other co-worker. 
Just you came here to save her. So you gonna walk me? Yeah, I'ma walk me. Have a great time. I'm going home. The sleepover is over. Five feet. Six a.m. To me, what felt like seventeen feet of snow with probably just seven inches. Five. Five. <laughs> seventeen feet of snow. I trekked. And I traveled and I caressed and I skied and I did everything my power to be home with my family. Just to open the door and then be like, what took you so long? Why are you not here? Me, I was just... Did you didn't over. bring food? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so you like her? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you, so you <laughs> like her? Face? Well, you're yeah, tired. You should go to bed, but be up in an hour. First, take this out. And go do this. Me. You did I did a great food. thing. That means nothing to us. Wow. Wow. My gosh, but wow. I eventually went to sleep at 11 a.m. And I slept till 5. And nobody came into work for the next two days. And guess who was the first one at work? That Monday. But that has been another story time with Nate. I'm glad I could be of amusement to you guys. Um, if you guys experienced that snowstorm in Seattle or anywhere else across the entire United States, because it looks like we all have one giant mega blast of a storm. Yeah, Gary, Queen Blizzard. No? <laughs> no, it's the McFlurry drip drip. We're cutting yeah, this right. out. <laughs> <laughs> I was but, like, this is no on my side, and this is no on me. But it was a it was a great time. It was a, it was a great time out of a bad time. And if you experienced the snow, I would love to hear your snow stories. Um. Anyways, if you guys like this video, subscribe. Comment. Let me know what, some more ideas for content you would like to see. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to make this all tie into music. This is about to be a song one day. That's all I can say. Snuck, snuck in a snowstorm. Stuck in a snowstorm. That's what I was. I was stuck in a snowstorm. It was pretty fun. I was stuck in a snowstorm. So cold for me. <laughs> Everything was so miserable, but I love being me. Dun 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 can't wait to see you in the next video. Goodbye! Mm. Oh no. <laughs>